The Gaspé Peninsula is a splendid destination for touring in rural Quebec. Located at the mouth of the mighty St. Lawrence River, this region of Canada's French-speaking province offers a terrific variety of natural and cultural attractions. At the gateway is Rimouski, a city that's often called the oceanographic capital of Quebec. On the shores of the St. Lawrence, it's an important educational, religious and artistic center. This region of Quebec is full of history. Perhaps the most tragic tale is the sinking of the Empress of Ireland. On the night of May the 29th, 1914, more than a thousand people perished in the frigid waters of the St. Lawrence River. The Empress was carrying European immigrants when she was hit by the Storstad. Suddenly they were in a fog bank. They didn't see each other. Storstad hit the Empress approximately in the center on the starboard side. The watertight doors were not closed and it took only 14 minutes for the Empress to, to sink compared with the Titanic which took about 2 hours and 20 minutes. They had enough uh, lifeboats on the Empress of Ireland but it went so fast they didn't, they didn't, in fact they didn't use one. Fishing enthusiasts come to the Gaspé from all over the world, and if you're fishing for salmon, the Matapedia River is one of the best spots anywhere. Cruising is one way to explore the St. Lawrence, and the best for close-up views of marine and bird life. Whales can be spotted swimming in waters that are also home to sea lions and dolphins. For bird watchers, it's a paradise, with a wide variety of species including puffins and on Bonaventure Island, the world's largest colony of gannets. Smaller cruise vessels like this one take passengers to sites that aren't easily accessible by land. Quarry Island is interesting for birds, but also uh, because of the rock formations, the uh, monoliths that you find there. I travel around the world and I didn't see a place, uh, I mean a natural place, with such unusual, with such unusual rocks and uh, natural place. It also has a different types of different types of environment like peat bog and uh, boreal forest. So that's interesting for plant life, bird life. Underway now, bound for Arrington. We're into uh, small passages, uh, lots of islands around the Harrington Islands. Uh, Harrington Harbour itself is an island. Then we get off on the island, and then you have a, a typical small fishing village along the lower north shore. Uh, people have been living there for over a hundred years. They, you know, have their own way of life. They're completely isolated in terms of um, road access, but uh, they have internet, they have a fish industry, and uh, you have a whole community life. From Harrington Harbour, it's on to Anticosti Island. It's 220 kilometers long, 56 kilometers wide. You know, right in the middle of the Gulf of St. Lawrence, you have 270 people living there, 120,000 deer, about 27 salmon rivers. There's such an immense property there, and so few people and uh, a lot of wildlife. The island was purchased as a hunting ground in the late 1800s by Henri Meunier from France. It was Meunier who introduced the animals that are now so abundant. The picture-taking opportunities on Anticosti are endless. Over the millennia, this small stream has carved its way through the rock, creating this fantastic canyon. The Boreal Falls are really uh, beautiful. They're 70 meters high, right in the middle, a little ways off from the, from the shoreline, but it's kind of spectacular to see on this, this island right in the middle of the, the Gulf of St. Lawrence. For the ultimate in isolation, try renting one of these cabins. No phone, no cable, no electricity. But who needs it with this kind of view? It was um, surprising for me to find out that to find that the water wasn't that cold. It's been very exciting. 
Very interesting. <laughs> and a little surprise every day. It was very, very enjoyable. For more information on today's destinations, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.